shadow them. I'm standing on the shoulders of giants who stood on the shoulders of giants. I'm just a midget that can see the furthest. That's how I see it. So all of them that did the work before me laid the foundation for my work to be able to be functional and usable. Because I'm not usable if I don't have something to use. And anything that don't have something to use and that's not usable is open to be misused. And that's why they don't like to conjure me up. Mm. <laughs> well, I'm glad they did. I'm glad they did. We're glad they did. Many of us are, you know. Like I said, love you or hate you, you know, it doesn't matter. You 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 came here to do a, a, a job and you're doing it. And um and whether you you know whether you know I have folks <laughs> whether you smoke a cigarette or whatever else you smoke, you know, whatever, or you curse or say words that are whatever they feel like it might be cuss, cuss, you're not cursing, cuss words. Um that's your mannerism. I and that's <laughs> and that's part of rebellion. Okay. Because like I said, being politically correct and the politics are not correct is being insane. So to use the profanity, to be cussing is to be belligerent to the improper politics being imposed on our people. I so any politician that I don't hear say motherfucker, I ain't I ain't trying to hear. It. <laughs> he can't be politically correct and be about what's right. It, it's incompatible in this system because the politics is not correct because right. there's too many people suffering and struggling trying to get a better day from a sour lemon that they don't have enough sugar to make lemonade with because somebody stole their sugar that they had the first right to before they even seen it. So now they can't even make sugar out of the lemon, I mean, lemonade out of the lemons. So now they just got some squeezed lemon water. Right. And there's some things, you know, even I'm sure you can, you, I know you know, like there's things I know, Grand Sheik, we know that we are not at liberty to speak freely, you know, in these venues like this. And that's another reason, and that's a good segue. That's another reason why up close and personal is what we'll call up close and personal because mm -hmm. that's when we get to, you know, you know, no cameras and, you know, I'm sure there are folks that sneak and put their little recorder on to hear things, but no cameras and we're able to speak freely on the things that need to be conveyed so that, you know, we take, we use the oral tradition again and start once you learn something, if it resonates with you, then you take it. And when you get home, you share it and let, let somebody else so we can pass that knowledge on. So for those of you who um, want to come and um, see myself, Grand Sheik, Brother Dave, Mother Kai, Dr. Botanica, you know, other folks. And, uh, and, there, and there are other folks, three days, three whole days of coming together. Um, the third day is a holistic wellness um, uh, fair. And we're going to be raffling up like $4,000 worth of uh, wonderful mat uh, uh, matronized, merchandise, the, the biggest uh, raffle prize is a two thousand dollars, two thousand note, whatever. Um, Bio Crystal Sleep M mat queen size mattress topper, which is amazing, um, and some other Sleep M products and other. You know, we have a bunch of stuff, but that is the most. That's the biggest of it. Somebody's gonna win it, whether they're here or not. That's the wonderful thing. We will actually, if you can't come, we just have straight up twenty five uh, note donations for the our fundraiser raffle ticket and you get a chance to win and if you in california we'll ship it to you we'll still ship you the you know the queen size mattress topper if you're not here or if you went and you're here and you came on a plane we'll still ship it <laughs> you know what i mean so um we want you to uh, come out and be with us um on that weekend we're going to have a, a wonderful time so again august Dr. 20 August 26, 27, 28. Okay. 26, Seven 27. days after my father's birthday. My father's birthday the 21st. Ah, okay. So it's seven okay. days to the day after my father's birthday. 21st. But, um, this is the thing that we need to be looking for um, coming up. because it's Wilmington, Delaware. Somebody asked what part of Delaware. Wilmington, Delaware. I'm going to put the, the thing up. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. I'm sorry, Brian. So while you do that, put the uh, address and stuff up for the people. 
So you the, can, yeah, you talk and I'll just put this up and they can just yeah. see the band. So what we need to be looking for to transpire because we on the verge of a happy with who, with who I am. You know what I mean? This is me. <laughs> Yeah, this that's what me. facilitates the glow too. Yes, 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 yes. And so you guys can can have the same thing. Um, of course, in between that and chokeberry and sleep M and all of that stuff. Um, you know, we got a little bit of uh we got mattresses <laughs> with 16 crystals and gold and silver in them <laughs> that people can sleep on and get well. Um, chokeberry that they can take, nanos particles they can put in there. I mean. Every time I find something that is holistic and works for me, I got, it's got to work for me first. I, I can't just give it to you and I don't know whether it works for me. At least I can say it works for me because if it doesn't work for me, then it, nine times out of ten, it may not work for you either. So we try to bring that stuff to you. But anyway, it has been real, awesome, amazing, and um I'm sure that those who, you know, there were questions that folks, I do apologize, y'all. We wanted this to be mainly about, uh, you know, talking about our brother Rod and his background. And I know y'all have a lot of questions and um, we'll, we'll get you back. You know, we'll get, get you know, I have another, um, another um, show I call, and I haven't done it for over a year, brother Rod called Open Circle Gathering. And that open, open Circle Gathering is a place, and I may even just do it on, um, Zoom this time, maybe so that folks can literally come on and and ask questions and so forth. We only do like a hundred people on it, but open circuit circle gathering is to talk about spirit, so-called spiritual stuff and so-called you know freedom from dogma and things. And I know you said you know if that's what they want, if that that's fine. But if that's if you're trying to get out of of the matrix, that's where the open circle gathering comes in, so folks can be free to talk about their journey and there's other when you were start you were talking about just what you saw and i saw in the chat where other folks were saying no people didn't believe me when i had xyz experience we want folks to be comfortable in whatever experience you know they have that's that's one of the goals of house of reawakening minds it's a it's a a a it's dedicated to the practice of spirituality what we call an enlightened community that's dedicated to honor the myriad of sacred pathways to the universal creator. We know that there's not one road. We know that there's many roads and we'll meet up, you know, at the place that we're supposed to, but you need to be free to be able to exercise your spiritual self or your, you know, whatever you want to call it, your pathway and not be persecuted for it because it's not the way the person next to you is doing it. Yeah. And you know, the, the part is you got to always remember when you judging somebody else, the same standard apply to self. Right. Most people don't want to hold themselves accountable for what they condemn other people for. And when you see people fall, and uh, they might not be indeed the dirt they accused of. Everybody not guilty. Right. It's an orchestrated plan to keep us from um, reclaiming the land and evicting the imposters is one. Right. Right. And the second thing is, I'm not part of the spiritual community or the conscious community because the people in the spiritual community are spiritually dead and the people in the conscious community is diet woke. I'm part <laughs> of the tribal community of families that's coming together as a family confederacy across the land that just want to live in peace and harmony and happily the ever way they want to, right? Right. Without the restrictions of uh, artificial legal fiction imposing a heartless regime on the people, that's yeah. all. I, I'm not trying to do no. Uh, I'm not trying to uh, be greedy and consume the world for myself. What I'm gonna do with all of it? I can't do nothing but give it to the people anyway. After a while, you know, stuff becomes just it's stuff. And I, you know, and I'm gonna say this, and I know we we're gonna go. But one of the things I realized, you know, there was a scripture that says, or, or if it's not a scripture, it's at least a quote. Folks will say the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. But when you think in terms of who the Lord is, um, I think now in terms of the system that has plied us with so many things that were unnatural to our natural wants and desires and environment. And now that they've given us all these things, technology and fancy this and that and the other, now they're trying to snatch it away from us. You no know, give and take it. But if we had stayed in our natural uh, you know, habitat, whatever, 
that stuff would have never affected us because we wouldn't have gotten just like a child. If you never give a child candy, they'll never even desire it because they've never had it. But once you say, oh, well, everybody else has get, got Halloween candy. Let me just you can't go trick or treating, but here's a bag of candy. Next thing you know, now you've, you've addicted your child to one of the worst things that's around sugar. And 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 you know what I'm saying? They would have never had it. Sugar, had not, is, well, sugar, it's, not, is, sugar not as bad for you as people believe. Well, it's not good. But it's but not good. It's not the sugar. It's the bleaching agent and the sugar and the flour. Well, versus natural. Now you're right. You know, there's not the sugar, the granule, the refined, the refined process, the way yeah. they bleach it. So no, they, no, no, you're right. It's not good at all. Not good use, at all. They deliberately use toxins to uh cause side effects by the consumption of those mass-produced products. They know the bleaching agent in the sugar and the flour is toxic to the human. Well, cane so the sugar question is, is why do they is. keep putting it in there? Right, not because they're trying to do what it is they're doing, but cane sugar. And another thing that even though it sounds like it's not, like it may be some chemical, it's not. Xylitol is a real good substitute. It's a sweetener that's not, not aspartame or anything like that. It's a natural sweetener that will do the same thing and not <clears> give <throat> you the, you know, the, the issue that you would get by consuming sugar. So, you know, definitely please, if you drink, I'm um, using stuff like the, the pink packets and stuff like that. Stop. stop. That's, we, you, might as well, you might as well eat sugar if you use them pink packets. Well, you might as well eat poison. If you, That's <laughs> what you're doing. You eat rat poison. Rat poison. Yes, right. Saccharin, so. saccharin in the sweet and low. Saccharin. saccharin yeah, I, I was trying not to get their name out. Just to, I'm just saying pink packets and stuff. But yeah, you you you're really doing yourself a disservice. But hey, listen, thank you. Um, love you. You know, you my brother from another mother. Um, both our mamas are looking on, looking at us from wherever they are and saying, "Way to go!" Look, you know, that's my son. My mom's going. That's my baby. That's my <laughs> only baby. <laughs> you see, I'm a, so. Anyway, this has been really um, wonderful, um, eye opening enlightening and all of that stuff so i appreciate you um i really do i really appreciate you i appreciate appreciate your candor and your honesty and really you know sharing you know your story your your i know your journey it's not a story your journey um with with us and i hope for those some some of those that this has put a totally different light and a perspective on who you are and that they will stop looking at you, look beyond that, and listen to your you and your what your assignment is. Are you doing? Are you fulfilling your assignment? And I, and the last thing is, I've been getting calls from a few folks about uh, men. Brothers called me last week. They were trying to get in touch with you about uh, some training they must have heard on one of your videos for the sisters. And um, the, then they then I got a call about whether or not the, the sisters um, didn't uh, what they did on July fourth. I was like, I, I don't know. I said, well, I don't do anything. I'm retired, so I didn't do anything different because I don't go punch a clock anywhere. So I didn't know. But they wanted to know about some training for the matriarchy that might have been mentioned on one of your other videos, and I couldn't, you know, uh, get it's, on. It's several training um, topics that I mentioned. One of them was the training of the doulas at the doula center that's going to open up after we reclaim the land. The other one is the Rights of Passage program for the youth. Um, that training has to be done to revamp the education or the miseducation system into a proper uh, education system. Um, and the other training is what's being done by the women at the MGT GCC, which is general civilization courses, which teaches the women how to be functional um, in the home and to understand um, a lot of the uh, the mechanics of running a family and being the woman of the house that wasn't being taught before the uh, in the um, in this type of setting until the Nation of Islam was set up after the fall they was doing it in the um, uh, Moorish Women's Consulate and they was doing it in the yeah, because I have a book I have right. a book a red book right. that and they got a they were doing it also in the UNIA uh, nurse brigade under Garvey. And all of those programs were stumped out by the government 
like the breakfast programs of the Black Panthers and the um, educational programs of the Peace Stones, um, the community organization and efforts of the growth and development and the vice lords, all of them was squashed out by the government and then they villainized the people that put those programs together to remove them from our community. So there's a whole lot of training and it's also um, a, a lot of what we call uh, five dollar Indians on reservations have certain um, um, spiritual practices that they were to hold in secret until we reclaim the land and now they have to give it all back. So these classes are not actually going on yet, but these are things that need to happen. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? Well, the, the women <clears throat> should attend the beginners classes, the MGT, GCC, and they can start there now. They, they active. And some of the... Uh, what about the couple? sisters that are not necessarily, they're not in the nation of Islam? You I don't mean, have to, you don't have to be in the nation to attend the beginner's class. That's the first thing. The next thing is also the, uh, there is a functional Moorish women's consulate in New York and I think D.C. is where they was at, where they was headquartered at, but they know the old teachings of the Moorish women's consulate from the days of Noble Jew Ali and they've also took steps to update it, right? So there's women's groups, um, like there's a sister in New York that does a uh, uh, goddess glow up, which teaches the women about harnessing their personal power and um, being a beacon of light wherever they go. So all of these is in um, all of these places can be found, but people got biases that they have to overcome. To get the information i had biases i had to overcome too right well if you have if you have any information that you could share with me offline with, with like how i can get in touch and pull some of these um things together um let me see latanya so i'm okay here's uh okay wait a minute this is something i'm former mgt and can support this training for those who don't want to join the nation oh okay yeah um this is my my sister so so um, what you do with her is you get her information. I have her information. I know and you is. you can funnel the women. They can contact you as a connector. Okay. And y'all can just start setting it up because she already knows what to do. She's already yeah, she was high up in there. She was right high, right high ranking in there. So mm -hmm. yeah, okay, I'll do that. Thank you. Thank you, sister. I'll I'll reach out to her. I know who she is. All right. And Thank you, Dr. C for having me. Thank you for coming on, as usual. This has been great. All, All right. right. We, we Blessings leaving. to reawaken minds, to reawaken the minds. And it was a <laughs> pleasure talking to the people. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. But I knew you were going to hit me up and bring me in. I knew that. So, look, I feel like I know you, bro, from somewhere. I feel like I've been knowing you. When I first saw your face, I don't know if that was on Facebook because we follow each other on Facebook, but I knew when I saw you, I know this cat, I know this brother from somewhere. I don't know where that come from, but I got ties up in up in Shy, South Side of Chicago. That's my you stopping know, ground. Moved down here to the M Town. I call it Orange Mound, Tennessee. That's where I'm from. Mm -hmm. And uh, so. Uh, yeah, uh, so I'm gonna say some shit that some people gonna might be would might be embarrassed about or wouldn't want to talk about. Say it. I'm so all I, with that. Yeah, did yeah, right because that's what needs to be done. So I came in to to this Moore's movement and uh, got fucked around from some folks trying to sell them goddamn packages and whatnot, right? Yeah, and uh start trying to do the study on my own. And uh, so I'm a little perplexed about that shit. I'm not really overstanding all that until I started listening to you. And I'm like, hold up. Stop. He, it seemed like he connected some dots for me. Because you've been seeing me trying to rap with you, right? Mm -hmm. if, if you had, you, you, you remember me trying to rap with you, right? I'm not for sure. 
Because I got so many people, I can't keep yeah. up with everybody. Right, 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 right. So I'm trying to connect the dots of how we're supposed to go about overstanding. Are we, are we using this term more? Are we more? Do I need to be doing this paperwork, which I already did, and I did that shit. Um, and, um, you know, am, am, am I supposed to be sending this shit to, to such and such and such? Or, you know, how am I supposed to be doing that shit, man? Because, like... Yeah. It's, it's prep, our, we overthrowing their system with our system. Their system requires you to file paperwork with them. Right. Our system requ requires us to make public notice in the public domain for the people to see when we tell them what the situation is. So when we assert our sovereign status, we don't need no paperwork. We do it by public notice. Public notice is... is, is um valid in every one of their court systems. Notice to agent is notice to principal. When you put it on the public in the public forum, 